The answer is shocking. We're at number two in our countdown of the biggest blasts in the universe, long gamma ray bursts. They're the most powerful concentrated beams of energy in the universe. They release many times more energy in a matter of seconds or minutes than our sun will produce in its entire 10 billion year lifespan. The key to their devastating power is focusing that energy in a narrow area. A firearms expert illustrates the point with two different shotguns. First, a shorter gun, where the shot spreads out quickly after leaving the barrel, unlike a gamma ray burst. As you can see, there's some damage to the melon, but not that much because the shot was spread out and only some of it hit the target. Now our firearms expert is switching to a longer barrel that keeps the shot concentrated in a tighter pattern as it goes down range. The same effect as a gamma ray burst. Concentrating the shot can be devastating. It's a good thing for us that most gamma ray bursts are millions or billions of light years away from Earth and are pointed in the other direction. It's believed that these concentrated jets shoot out when massive stars collapse into black holes. And in 2008, scientists detected one of the strongest gamma ray bursts on record, known as GRB 080916C. It lasted an incredible 23 minutes. This GRB was one of the most exciting blasts ever seen because the total power inferred from the observed brightness and the distance of the blast exceeded that of any other known GRB up to that time. Moreover, we can tell that energetic particles were blasted out along two jets at 99.9999% of the speed of light. GRBs are so powerful along the beam of particles and radiation that even ones that are thousands of light years away but pointing at us could destroy much of the life on Earth. But if long gamma ray bursts are the most powerful explosions in the universe, then how could they be number two on our list? because the top spot goes to something that didn't happen within the universe, but happened when the universe itself was formed. Number one, the Big Bang. This mother of all blasts is technically an expansion and not an explosion, since it was not a blast within a defined area. It wasn't an explosion that happened somewhere in space, it's all of space. It's the actual fabric of space-time itself coming into existence. So uh, in the concept of a biggest blast, uh, it's as big as it gets. It was the whole universe blasting into existence. And the speed and temperatures of the Big Bang dwarf anything that happened inside the universe once it was formed. Those temperatures are beyond anything we can imagine. There are trillions of degrees if you measured it in usual units. So compared to any explosion, say here on Earth or a star or what have you, this is well beyond that. Researchers believe that theoretically, they can go back so close to the moment the Big Bang happened that a fraction of a second doesn't come anywhere close to doing the time scale justice. The bang of the Big Bang is a time in the early universe known as inflation. The size of the universe went whoosh. It just expanded so quickly, doubled in size many times over a very, very short interval of time. This incredible inflationary 
exponential state of expansion lasted only a tiny fraction of a second. A millionth of 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 a second. During this early expansion, it seemed as if things were moving faster than Einstein's universal speed limit, the speed of light. In fact, it expanded so quickly that it was faster than the speed of light. That's okay. That doesn't violate Einstein's theory of relativity. Space itself can expand faster than the speed of light. No particle can travel through space faster than the speed of light. But space itself can and does expand faster than the speed of light. And the Big Bang is the largest reminder of all that the biggest blasts in the universe, these sudden releases of energy, do much more than destroy. The creation of our universe, the creation of the sunshine that comes out of stars, and the creation of our own moon all came from this tremendous liberation of energy all at once. So there's a very intimate link between matter manifested in one way and then being destroyed and then re-emerging in a new way. And, you know, here on Earth it re-emerged as us. And as the universe evolves, its biggest blasts will continue to be both the destroyer of worlds and the creators of new possibilities.